The mood at the residence of Dokolo Woman Member of Parliament at Team Ogwal in Bugolobi, Kampala, was somber after it was confirmed that she had passed on. Cecily Ogwal, loved by her peers and young politicians and who many referred to as Mama, passed on in India aged 77. Her death is linked to cancer. Actually today is a very, very sad moment. It's really a shock to the people of Lango sub-region because in Honorable Mat we had a pillar. In Honorable Mat we had a role model. The Speaker of Parliament, Anita, among and former leaders of opposition in Parliament, Matthias Mpuga, Betty Aol Ochan, and Winnie Kiza arrived at the Ogwal family home to condole with the family. Mrs. Ogwal, one of the longest serving parliamentarians who cut her teeth in politics in the 80s when she was appointed the Acting Secretary General of Uganda People's Congress, UPC, is hailed for having spurred women into politics. Honorable Cecilia Ogwal would always tell you never allow to be undermined because you're a woman. You should always be on top of everybody. Some of us were motivated to join politics because of Honorable Cecilia Ogwal. You can't talk about women, the women's movement, women emancipation, women empowerment without talking about Cecilia Ogwal. Because it's people like Cecilia that stood firm on their feet and ensured that women were catered for in the constitution. She has been a nationalist who always fronted the country's interests first above any other political affiliations. Cecilia Ogwal was also a businesswoman and an advocate of women's rights. She is described as an incorruptible and unifying person who served in politics. This is somebody who, over the years, would put government on the spot. You know, um, she would insist on government accounting to not just parliament but to the people of Uganda as it should be, anyway. And so she got that coining of the name Iron Lady. Herself and um, the late Honorable Chanjo were the few seniors who had time for the juniors. Many senior MPs never give time to others, but uh, she was always available to help, to support, to advise. I must say has mentored many, including myself, because uh, as chief opposition whip, she has been a predecessor, my predecessor, because she was uh, earlier, I think, even uh, served two terms. When it was even very difficult to say you are opposed to Museveni, Cecilia so Ogwa was one of the few people who stood up against Museveni. Uh, they were being called multipartists. So she was a, a torchbearer for many opposition politicians. Though she started out as an avid supporter of UPC, by the time she passed on, she was member of the Forum for Democratic Change Party. She has made a very strong mark nationally. She's been a strong leader in the Lango region, uh, where she hails from. And so it's a terrible loss. I used to give her my car myself, despite us having different positions or political affiliations. She was a person who understood the fact that being one of a, a different ideological setting does not make you less human. Besides politics, Mrs. Ogwal was a businesswoman. She was an entrepreneur by herself, where she had the in Lira Millers and do a lot of things into a, in um, value addition. So she was very admired to see that there are also other women who are having the same kind of ideas that they can also do the form of business and investment. She survived by husband Lamek Ogwal, with whom she had seven children. But thanks be to God, I didn't utter a word in response. Parliament has taken over the barrier arrangements, as would be expected for a member who dies while in office. The burial program detailing when the body will be flown into the country from India was yet to be announced by the time of this report. Jackson Onyango, ANTV.